Welcome to this Windows video and our Back to the Basics episode. We are going to talk about uh, slow computers, how to actually make your computer run faster. Um, we'll have a few tips and tricks and also uh, some, you know, ideas of uh, what you should do uh, depending on how long your uh, computer has been in the same Windows installation and so on. So first of all, there are a few things you can do if your computer starts to get slow. If your computer is slow, the first thing you should probably check for is the amount of RAM memory you have on your computer. So to check that, you can go into the search and just type RAM. And here you see View RAM Info. This is going to let you know what type of uh, computer and the amount of memory you have. So here it says install RAM 8 gigabytes. So 8 gigabytes is the amount of memory I have. That is good and more than enough. If you've got more than 2 gigabytes, if you've got like 4 gigabytes, 6 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes, you don't need any more RAM. But if you're at 2 or below 2, if you only have 1 or 2 gigabytes, first thing you should actually do is to purchase or have somebody that knows what he's doing install more RAM into your computer. A typical Windows 8 machine is usually good at 4 gigabytes and up. Now I don't usually recommend really much more than 4. I don't think anybody really uses their computer enough to have um, really an advantage of using more than four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, so four should be more than enough. So this is one thing that you can actually check for. Um, older computers, the first generation of Windows 8 machines might have actually only two gigabytes. Some of the very low end and you know um, the machines that didn't cost too much at the beginning often have less memory. And that's a big problem because a computer has to compensate the lack of memory by using the hard drive and that's why your computer will be slow if you have you know two gigabytes or less so that's the first thing you should check for uh, the second thing you should go through is uninstall any unused program so right click on the start button at the bottom left go into programs and features and here check all of the programs that are installed uninstall any program that you're not using anymore uh, that's an important because a lot of the programs that are actually installed can slow down your computer. Uh, one thing to be careful of, a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of nonsense uh, in what people say about computers. If your computer has a lot of files, a lot of folders, pictures, documents, it does not slow down your computer. That is a myth because anything that is uh, something that's let's say passive, um, anything that just doesn't really interact with your computer, a, a Word document, a JPEG image or you know pictures from your camera, stuff like that does not interact with your computer unless you click on them to uh, view them. So it doesn't slow down your computer unless you really really have a full hard drive then that case could be a problem but you know for most people it doesn't matter. Uh, in the program list Uninstall anything that you don't need that you know what it is, and that's very important. People tend, you know, to uninstall stuff. For example, a lot of people will say, "Well, what's that little, you know, icon that looks like something that's uh, kind of a game?" Well, it's not. It's these are drivers for the machine. I would not touch that, of course. So, if you're not sure, you can always Google the name of the software that's installed, because that will uh, help you, of course, um, in having more uh, speed on your computer because by uninstalling programs you uh, you know uninstall also all sorts of files that uh, Windows needs to load for example when it's starting up and stuff like that so uninstall anything that you don't use anymore or anything you know that's not useful for you in the programs then there's another thing that you can actually go to and check for and it's the startup items. Anything that starts with your computer. 
So right click simply at the bottom on the taskbar on your desktop and here click on task manager or if you have a touch device or you, you want to find another way just go to the search once again and type task manager and go and see the task manager there you'll want to see startup at the top you see the tabs one of them is startup check the startup items and you know what disable anything that's not useful and um, you know keep enabled the minimum of what you really need to make a computer boot up faster because these are all things that actually um, you know slow down your computer at startup and also slow down the computer while it's working because all of these startup items actually run in the background so you can right click and enable or disable the different uh, items and when they are actually enabled you always see the startup impact you've got low medium and you've got you know um, the startup impact that's big or great uh, make sure that what you have as a startup impact are mostly low and uh, disable anything that you don't need when you don't know what you are disabling here I suggest that you disable one by one restart your computer every time you disable something to make sure that you're not actually causing any problems there are some programs that require the startup items to be there so that's why there are things for example here um, there are a few Toshiba things that I sometimes will enable or keep enabled because they are better at um, you know making my Toshiba computer work so uh, by disabling stuff here uh, you should see um, big difference in the startup time and also the speed of your computer what else can you do if your computer is still slow and you're wondering well why not go and get yourself uh, a good scan from either a uh, your antivirus so I would suggest that if for example you're using Windows Defender just get your Windows Defender and why not you know make a scan click the scan now button and let it scan just in case there would be something installed a virus or a malware on the computer another good piece of software would be to go to malwarebytes.org and download the free version download of this piece of software which is the um, really really good uh, anti-malware software and there's the free version on the right so you just click download on the free version install this and scan your computer with this also anything that it finds you will remove from the uh, computer by clicking the quarantine now so these are all uh, things that can actually help your computer run faster malware uh, is terrible in the computer speed um, uh, most clients that have malware I've noticed the computer is much much slower than usual and uh, you know what if you're um, using your computer I've been using your Windows 8 computer for many years for example my Toshiba here is the same install that I have since I bought it way back in 2012 so it is slower than it was before although it's not too bad and I know that one of the things that you might want to do to actually get your computer especially if you install and uninstall programs a lot if you've had viruses or malware uh, in the past year or two then what would probably be a good thing is to go into the refresh refresh your computer there are two ways to actually refresh one is without affecting your files and one is remove everything and reinstall Windows this is probably the one that I would suggest remove everything and reinstall Windows is the best thing just take all your files folders move them to um, USB key if you don't have a lot of them or to external hard drive and then you will click get started in the remove everything and reinstall Windows this could take a few hours 
and then you'll have to reinstall every program that you use, every piece of software that's not there at the at the beginning of uh, you know your reinstall of Windows, and um, also you will re-import all of your files um, and folders into the computer. But that is sometimes the only thing that you can do. So these are tips and tricks that can help you uh, make you know your computer go faster, and hopefully they will and have helped you make your computer faster. And if all fails, well, you know, the drastic remove everything and reinstall Windows is probably your best option as it, you know, reinstalls a fresh copy of Windows that wasn't altered by all the software, malware, and viruses that you might have come across in the past few years. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, Maybe you have uh, a video, something you'd like us to make a video of to help you. Let us know. We'll try to post that video online. And uh, thanks for watching. If you've got that new Windows 8 machine, keep in mind that we have a lot of videos showing you how to use your computer to the max and how to use Windows 8. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again. Bye-bye.